Alright, hey there, this is Nathan from Tech Savvy, and today I'll just be doing another Windows 7 customization tutorial, and the theme I'll be doing a tutorial on today is Mountain Lion. So to download, just go to the link in the description below, and to choose which version you have, just go to your start menu, and right-click on Computers, and click Properties, and then if it's a 32 or 86, you have to choose the 7x86 version, and if it says 64, then just choose the 7x64 version. Now, if you have Windows 8, just select Windows 8, and if you have the Windows XP version, just select Windows XP. Now, after you've selected the installation version, just double-click on your install file and click Yes. You may notice that my background is a little different. It's because I was too lazy to change my background from my last tutorial okay now you'll end up on this screen just click next and then after reading through this select I accept the terms of the agreement and click next then you want to uncheck these as this will just in install a toolbar that you probably won't even use and it's just a bit annoying and then select next you want to leave all these checked a restore point is a good idea as if something goes wrong, you can always restore it to your previous point. Now click install. Now this skin pack has a little more to it as it has the rocket dock. It has the um, it has left sider. It has various things. I think it has X launch pad. And it has a lot of things it has to replace and install. So this installation will take a little longer than most other themes. This file was actually double the size of the themes in my previous videos. Okay, now you'll notice your taskbar has disappeared and so have your desktop icons. That means it's been completed. Just click next and then select reboot now and click finish. And you'll see your PC going through the rebooting process. Keep in mind that my boot will be a little bit different as I am running this on a VMware machine. Now you'll notice that your start uh, your boot screen has changed as well. It is now like an Apple logo. And it's more in a square shape, but don't worry too much about that. And now you can see the welcome screen has also changed to, to an Apple wallpaper to suit the whole mountain lion theme. And now you'll see that your taskbar has been moved to the top of the screen and you have a different starting noise. You'll also notice that your taskbar is a bit thinner and your wall or your wallpaper has been changed. Now if you go to the Wait, hold on. It's just taking a while to run through the whole thing. Now if you go to your start menu, you'll notice that it's changed, but its functions haven't. It should work fine. And now you have a rocket dock. And this is where a lot of new features come in. Like here you have um, the X launch pad, which I was talking about earlier. And this pretty much simulates simulates the launch pad on Mac. And you can add or take away programs in it. You can create folders. I find it pretty cool, even though I'm not much of an Apple fan. And now if you go to your file explorer, you'll notice that your icons have changed. And you can change it to go to the left if you want to get more of a Mac feel. And your icons have also changed. You'll notice that your cursor has changed, and when it loads, it goes into the beach ball loading screen. And you'll also have the desktop fast feature, which pretty much gets you to the desktop. Okay, you'll also notice that um, your Alt tab has changed. Like if you press Alt tab, you'll know. Well, actually, I don't have anything else open, so. 
Okay, so if you press Alt Tab, you'll notice that it's changed a bit. And if you press Start Tab, uh, wait, that's pretty much the same. Another new feature they have is they have the App Store, which is just pretty much a login page for the Apple Store. Not login page, uh, sorry, start page. And you pretty much have access to Twitter, iCloud. Um, oh wait, there's also something called Expose. Mm, it's not working right now. Oh, X widget is another thing I want to talk about. It's just pretty much letting you have some new widgets you can put on your screen. It lets you see how much space you have available. And it lets you add a calendar, how much battery life you have. And... Yeah, I believe that's pretty much it. Wait, no. This allows you to um, allows you to see what programs are open and stuff like that. You can change a few settings to colors, etc. So, yeah, and it also adds this icon to your desktop, so you can see what CDs you have inside. All right. So this is Nathan from Tech Savvy, and I'm signing out. If you open up the star menu, you'll see that it's been totally changed, and you've also got a rocket dock now. And if you go to your file store, you'll see that that has the buttons on the right. Any program that you open will have a bar under it, the colors will vary.